Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I received uh, my um, SIG Pro Force P226 Mark 25 gas blowback. So um, this one is probably made by VFC. I don't know, maybe it is because SIG Pro Force usually uses VFC to um, make their guns. And well, I wanted to get a P226, but I couldn't find one anywhere. I did, but like they're kind of like cheap. So I saw this one on pre-order. I just waited until um it was uh, put um, in sale, and now it brought back in sale. And this is an Evic exclusive. Well, because Evic says it's exclusive, and I cannot find it in other uh, websites. But I usually uh, buy guns in Evic. So this is the box. Sig usually does their boxes like this. Shows a gun. My MCX did the same thing as well. It's obviously going to say six hour everywhere. So this is the specs of the gun. And so far, they're not selling any extra mags for this gun, which is a uh, bummer. So yes, this is a full metal slide, but the frame is polymer, just like a Marui. It feels like the frame feels like kind of kind of feels like this but just a metal slide but well this does not feel like a metal gun this one's full metal metal slide but the frame is just metal i mean but this is metal this is polymer and quick disclaimer i did shoot this earlier but i'll get to the I'll talk about the shooting part after. So, um, green gas, um, 18 round magazine, blowback, semi auto, blah, blah, blah. Everything that says about the gun. And uh, it does have a decocker. And unfortunately, the decocker does not decock the gun, all, decock the hammer all the way. It um, half cocks it pretty much. I think that's a flaw. Maybe, maybe it's a flaw. Like, probably it's because, like, this is like a first batch of the gun because this gun is really new. It just came out like a week ago. So I probably had one in the first batch. Maybe like in their next batch or in the future, maybe their decocker will fully work. But like now it just it just doesn't like decock. Like it just like cocks like halfway. You can still shoot it, but like it cocks it halfway, which sucks. So yeah. Um so this is the box inside. Kind of feels it kind of feels like the Glock box. So there's no manual for the gun, unfortunately. Um, this is just a safety guide, which everybody should know. Airsoft safety guide before even getting or slash playing with a gun. So, they come wrapped, which I do like. So, here's the magazine. It's metal. The valve is on the back of the magazine. Let's get one from right here. It does kind of feel like the same thing. Kind of looks the freaking same. And, well, you see the valve is on the bottom. But they still have the, the gas release on the back and with a CO2 gun this is what, what a CO2 mag would look like and a um, gas mag so these are kind of the difference like just in case if you want to know what a CO2 mag looks like just imagine this one with like a screw in there to put it put a co2 in there but this one is a gas so you just put gas in there and you're ready to fire so now we got that one on the side let's get the gun itself so here's the gun itself like what i said it kind of it's polymer like over here it kind of feels like a marui or a gun that's not polymer, like the frame. Uh, full metal slide. Three dot um, iron sights. 
This gun is not optic ready. Cannot remove this. Let me see if I. Yeah, I cannot remove that, but I don't care. I, I don't mind orange tips. They're there for our safety. There's a rail in there to put like a laser or, or a flashlight. Here's a um, catch, um, lever, whatever you call it. So here's a decocker. That's my biggest problem. That's one of my biggest problem with the gun because if you're going to put a decocker, make sure it freaking works, but too bad it doesn't work. Well, the gun shoots fine. I'm going to put it right there. The gun does shoot really good. It shoots like a Marui or like an, or like something with a hammer and this trigger shoots like that. There's a takedown lever over there. I don't really, I don't know how to take, take this down. So I'm not going to do like a takedown. Um. So, put the mag, me, I'm usually gentle with airsoft mags, because they're expensive, and they have a mechanism in there, you can break them, so yep, when you put a mag in there, and when you shoot your final BB, your gun will lock back, since there's no BB in there, there's, you can't slide it back, but when there's a BB back, you can just slide it back, when this one's, cocked and if you're thinking well maybe I can just say well if you want to shoot a double action well too bad you can't shoot it double action on this one because I tried it where I um, like decocked the gun I was like oh snazzles I just like take off the mag just did this well there's like a BB in the chamber or something and well and it doesn't shoot and the D and the double action is kind of stiff too, but too bad you can't shoot it like that. You could shoot it half cocked, but who really wants to do that? Who really wants to shoot the gun half cocked? Let me see. Yeah, that's half cocked. So far, I think this gun is really nice. Um, this gun um, shoots really good. Um, shoots pretty smooth. Not bad for the price, the gas blowback, because 140 is not bad for... It, it's it's a normal price for a pistol, just like an Elite Force 1911. This is now for like 140 bucks. I remember buying this for like $100, but, well, inflation, so... I think like before inflation, this would have been like 120 bucks, but like... Well, now it's 140 It's not bad. Well, I heard that there is a smaller for version, like a compact version, but I heard that one's not that good. I, I heard it's, it's a decent gun, but the magazine is just, I heard it has the worst magazine. It's kind of like the same gun, but, and it's like 10 bucks more. So, yeah, I think, well, I'm not going to do like a, a shooting uh, part. Well, I just don't have the time to do it. So uh, this is just my unboxing review of the gun, and uh, well, yeah. Um, thanks for watching um, this video, and hopefully, um, you guys can check this gun out yourselves.